YouTube, welcome back. I'm going to tell you a quick story, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do in this video, and after that, I'm going to do the things that I said I'm going to do in this video. So let's begin. I was looking at my channel, looking at the content, and I stumbled upon my Darius Mains podcast video. If you haven't watched it, take a bit of time and uh, watch it because it's entertaining, fun, and uh, I'm sure you're going to like it. Anyways, what I saw in the video, something. I was asked, what is your purpose when you play League? And it's, uh, it's a deep question. Now, at the time, I did manage to answer it. However, I feel like my answer was too short and it wasn't informative enough and it didn't give too much insight, which is why I want to make a video uh, to target that and uh, explain it in a better way now this reminds me of a video that i made let me see if i can show you real quick it's called Diron league of legends identity explained okay now I, I did watch it i made it so i know exactly what i said in that video here's the thing even though i agree with everything i said in this video there's just a little bit, there's a couple of problems in this video, which is why I want to redo it in a way. It's 14 minutes long. There's a bit of repetition and there's ranting at the end. So it, it sometimes, at some points, it feels a bit hard to watch. So we're going to refresh uh, and revamp this video into a way where it's easy to digest condensed information and maybe even better information so that you can actually understand why I do what I do so I was thinking a good explanation requires a good format and uh, here's the format that I'm gonna use we're gonna do this in a past and present scenario so the past is OB supremacy and the present is Dairon we're going to take these two identities. I'm going to tell you who they are. I'm going to tell you what they do. And I'm going to go into why they do what they do. All right. Obi. <laughs> Obi Supremacy was an internally unhappy league player. I'll get into why he was an unhappy league player. But first, let's talk about what he did. He played his champions in builds others would deem questionable. He wanted to get to a certain elo with these builds specifically because he was insecure about his league identity. He wanted to be different, special. He didn't want to be a meta player. However, he could never achieve this elo, and that was his goal. Mostly because he didn't understand what it actually takes to get to said elo, which led to his unhappiness. He couldn't fulfill his goal. He couldn't fulfill his purpose. With Obi explained... Let's look to Dairon. These two have a few similarities, major differences. Brace yourself, let's get to it. Dairon is a content Rogue League player. He also plays his champions with Rogue builds. However, he has given up on the endless pursuit of ELO accumulation. The reason for this is because unlike Obi, Dairon actually understands what it takes to get to the elo that Obi always wanted and knows that it's just not conditioned for him to finish that journey. We can discuss this soon, but let's continue. He also gave up on said endless pursuit because the reward for making it is a potential, not guaranteed, small amount of good recognition to the surrounding people and a small ego boost. Yo, 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 Obi got masters. Oh, wait, he did? Nice, nice. That's, that's pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah, I did get masters, and I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Yeah, these rewards mean nothing to Dairon. Let me explain. Reward one, recognition. The only recognition Dairon truly needs is from his own ego. As for reward two, a small ego boost. Dairon's ego is already the size of a planet the moment he realized he's already the best. 
as opposed to Obi, Daron actually knows his identity and has a real and fulfilling goal. A rogue league player brings his forbidden playstyles. Naive to create. Chaos. I provide chaotic content. Rogue, forbidden, chaos. I can probably make a community out of that. Ah, I need to say that for a later video. I could end the video here, but to keep it from being vague, I need to explain something so that everything is as clear as possible. I said that I knew what it takes to get to said elo. What is said elo? Masters plus. What does it take? Dodging. You need to dodge a lot for many reasons. I'm going to give you a sample. You don't want to play against a certain matchup. You don't want to play against a certain champion. You don't want to play against a certain team comp. You don't want to play with someone. You don't want to play with a, cer a certain team comp that you you have. So there are many reasons and the list goes on, so trust me. But the point is you're going to have to dodge a lot more than you want to. And dodging, losing LP, you already understand why you don't want to do it. But you're going to have to do it just so that you can minimize as many losses as possible. That's reason number one. Reason number two is I'm going to get lashed out for this one because people really don't like it when people say this. You need a good team. When a league player finally uses their brain, they start to understand that the at a certain point of ELO, the game stops being about them as an individual and their team as a whole. Now, for clarity purposes, anyone above Masters, just check their games, right? Go to their match history, check their games, specifically their wins, for clarity's sake. Check their wins and compare the stats of the team to the enemy team and you will figure out why that game was won. And check the stats properly. Check the damage of the team. Check the champions of the team. Check the champions of the enemy team. Bro, just check the KDAs too. That's also something that you need to check uh, when comparing the stats of the team to the other team. And then you'll start to paint a picture on, oh, so it wasn't really even about him in that match. It was more, it was more, it was more his mid lane. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Maybe it was his, it's his jungler. His jungler has many kills. Wait, that, that ADC. He has an enchanting support as well. No wonder he didn't die. Hmm. Wait a second. But he popped off in this game. Wait, let me see the other champions that he was playing against. Wait, what? He's playing against Tank Maokai? Wait, what? Why don't I play against Tank Maokai? Wait, what? How is this happening? They, they even failed to pick a proper ADC? ADC went 07? Wait, no wonder he won that game. So skill... Is it really that important? Eh, not so much. It's more about circumstance. And if this is the case, doesn't it become more of a numbers game? Hey, doesn't it become more of a luck-based game? Well, the thing is, poker, although I don't really want to talk about that because I'm not too knowledgeable in that uh, game, poker is a luck-based game. However, there are good poker players and bad poker players. The general idea of climbing is playing well as consistently as possible and minimizing as many losses as you can, running the numbers to your advantage. Now, I know all of this, but why don't I do any of it? Okay, why do I know it? Because I played the game long enough to understand it. Why don't I do it? Mostly because I don't care enough to do it and uh, I feel like some of it is pointless. Let's go to dodging. I don't dodge for anyone. I don't even dodge trolls because half of the... They're diamond players. They are tryhards and they really want to win. So they're not even going to... They're not even going to let the game go through. They're going to dodge themselves at the very last second. I call their bluff all the time. Permanently. Getting good teams. Hmm. <laughs> what a joke. As for these other apps like... Uh, things to see the stats and checking OP.GG before the game... Bro, their OP dodgy G before the game, that, that doesn't matter to me. The reason why is because they can have a 10-game win streak. They go into my game, 
for some reason they int and lose. What was the point? You tell me what was the point. The only stat that truly matters is what they're doing in that game that I'm playing. In that game. That's the only stats that actually matter. Because, hey, a GM player plays in my diamond game and stops playing after five minutes, egoing. Why? Because she understood that there was nothing she could do to win that simple diamond game. So, what does that GM status mean to me? Nothing. But anyways, that's, yeah, so, basically, I just don't care enough. There's no point, I don't see a point in it, so, there you go. Now, let's go to the outro, long overdue. Thank you for watching the video, do the YouTube usuals, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and watch more videos. Anyways, that's it from me, all my links are down in the description below. Have a nice day, and peace out. Nothing but 